And, you know, there's a, a big call right now to help make the process of storing and sending crypto easier for the masses who are, you know, when they look at these wallet addresses are like, what is this? Right. Um, and it's, it scares some people it's intimidating. And I think the idea of what you guys are doing with, um, name wallet addresses and so forth, it, it just absolutely makes sense to take us to that next level of ease of use and, and, and less complicated. Yeah. And we talk about this internally. I think it's the worst experience ever for a new product the first time you use it to be yeah. afraid or scared. And yeah. that's my first time sending cryptocurrency. I had that, you, you know, fear. And everybody does this like test transaction thing where you yeah. send like just a little bit and then you send the rest of it. I don't I do that do anymore. That. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm, I'm now confident, but like, uh, what I think is also funny is that literally Vitalik Buterin does that if you go and you look at his transaction history. So it's everyone in the space. Um, we've come to believe that uh, names are critical to solving that problem, but we also believe that it's not enough, right? So like, so when we're talking internally in ensemble domains, uh, we're trying to think about, okay, great. We have this digital identity for you that can make it a lot easier for people to remember and send cryptocurrency to you. But what can we also do with that name in order to make it even easier for users? Because it's still not easy enough for people. And if you look, I think a lot of the work that we're doing around your Web3 profile is actually pretty interesting. And what we're thinking about in the future is when someone wants to send cryptocurrency to Matt.crypto, we can surface additional information about that person. Meaning like, you know, you could see their verified Twitter handle that's with that. Maybe that makes you even more comfortable to send that transaction. Uh, if we go um, working with some other partners in the space, we could potentially let you know if that person has potentially been involved uh, with some things that may not be great for you, right? So like we could maybe return your risk score around interacting with that individual. You know, especially we've seen this past year, there's been a lot of issues around theft and fraud in crypto. Uh, and there's always that continuing. And so that's a great thing about uh, Web3 domains is that we can verify more external information, right? And then put that on chain.